Hello, everyone. I'm Heather Harker, Chair of the Gallaudet University Board of Trustees. As the semester winds down and classes are finishing up, final exams are over, and much of the busyness of the campus has slightly been reduced for faculty and administrators, I'm reminded of what makes this institution so great. It's great because of you. Yes, you. Without you, the student, both graduate and undergraduate, the faculty member, the staff member, the administrator, and the alumni, without each and every one of you, Gallaudet would be nothing more than the husk of empty buildings and green space. People are truly the heart of Gallaudet. During what is often referred to as a season of gratitude within the United States culture, I am inspired by and deeply grateful for the extraordinary commitment, diligence, and leadership exhibited by the members of the Presidential Search Advisory Committee, PSAC. This committee is made up of students, faculty, staff, alumni, and representatives of the Board of Trustees. I want to acknowledge those members and thank them for their work. While at the same time, as I reflect on the work being done by the members of this committee, I also recognize the significance of many members of the Gallaudet community who are extraordinarily committed, diligent, and mindful of leadership issues, both great and small, that affect the life of Gallaudetians. These acts are often done without any kind of public recognition. And they're done simply out of people's love for Gallaudet. I thank each and every one of you for your leadership. As board chair, I'm not privileged to see the day-to-day -day interactions that happen on campus and the displays of leadership, but I do see and in fact deeply appreciate the cumulative impact of your leadership. These acts of leadership throughout this campus is what deepens my belief in the future of Gallaudet. As you know, we are now entering a phase of presidential transition and leadership at Gallaudet. This begins with the upcoming public launch of the leadership profile and the call and active search for presidential candidates. During this transition process, we commonly will expect and also certainly accept inclusion in this process. And through that, questions will emerge. Questions pertaining to the future of our campus. Questions about what it means to be president of Gallaudet and what it is that we need from our next president. These dialogues, rich with insight, inquiry, and exploration of different perspectives, whether they happen at the campus forums, the PSAC 2014 survey, in dorm rooms, in classrooms, or even as we share meals together or chat with one another in the hallways. These conversations are the sustenance of academic freedom, and they stimulate the intellectual and emotional life of the university. I have been delighted by the small glimpse that I have witnessed thus far, and that is what gives me hope, and also gives me a belief in Gallaudet's future.
as we look at the fractured world around us. With the devastating impact of the recent legal decisions in Ferguson and New York City and the persistent economic inequities and the continued access and equity challenges we face as deaf members of society. Given these grim events, one may wonder where hope can be found. But it's within this context I'm reminded of another story about Gallaudet. The story about Gallaudet's legacy. This is a story of us coming together and transforming together. That story comes from a not-so-long-ago crisis with our accreditation. It was at this time when the campus was on the brink of a very bleak future. Financially, academically, and in many other ways, our reputation was called into question. But the campus community brought their best selves forward. Their ideas, their energy, and their commitment all were put towards change. And the university absolutely transformed in a very short period of time. That transformation, stemming from our accreditation concerns, has been heralded as a model for other institutions who are facing similar crises. That experience of our coming together and transforming together is exactly what we need now. This is the legacy and the experience that we must call upon during this time of important leadership transition. We know from history, whether it be U.S. history or even international history, one leader acting alone does not generate transformation. True transformation requires all of our collective hearts, minds, and hands. Great transformative moments of history often come because of thousands of thousands of individuals who have made what might seem to be little decisions in their lives that cumulatively lead to a transformative moment. Make no mistake, Gallaudet is facing enormous challenges. The changing landscape of higher education, the changing demographics of the deaf community and population, and the ever-persistent challenges of isms including racism, sexism, just to name a few. The campus dialogues have been clear. At this juncture in Gallaudet's journey, a transformative leader is needed. And yet no one person, even the president, is able to act alone. They cannot be the panacea for Gallaudet's future. Perhaps the more important question may be, who will we decide to be? As a community of leaders. So that we may invite an extraordinary candidate to be part of this campus's transformation. And a transformation not just for next year, but a transformation for the next 50 to 100 years. I would like to invite all of us to come together 
for Gallaudet's transformation. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and myself, I want to wish you all the happiest of holidays and to say thank you. Thank you for your leadership and your commitment and, most importantly, for your love of Gallaudet.